Okay. Welcome back. How's everybody doing? We are back with uh, acrylic instruction. Uh, last week we started here with uh, a flower study. We started with a clear, solid black background. Um, we made it really dark. Then we came in with some green uh, leaves here to start our flower stems um, and, and our leaves coming off of our off of our uh, tulips that we're going to put in and add in today. Um, give me one second, folks. Just going to make a small adjustment. Yeah. Oh, we could close that. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're back. Yeah, so we worked on our sunflower. Um, we added in sunflower up in the corner. We're actually going to touch up on that, put some more um, work on that into that today as well. Um, maybe fix up some, some of our leaves here and our and our tulip our lesson for today um so right now i'm going to load up my palette with have a mid yellow um, going to be working with violet if you don't have violet you can uh, mix mix up a violet using uh, bright red, and blue. I have a rose color here. I'm actually going to be working with as well, and an orange yellow, which I'm going to mix up into the yellow, and we're going to make make some little highlights happen in this in this uh, sunflower right here. So I'm just loading my colors up on my palette. And we're going to start off back to our sunflower right now before we get into these tulips. So if you want to go ahead and load your colors, mix your violets, um, have your palette ready. You're going to need a little bit of white. I have titanium white right here. Got started and covered with paint already. <laughs> 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 so, so my petals, I used it, a one inch brush with these petals. So I'm gonna scale down to a smaller brush just so I can get in here and do a little detail work. Um, so if you have a bigger canvas, if you use the one inch brush or a bigger brush, you want to scale down to a smaller flat brush as we come in here and put some highlights. Um, we're going to actually darken the inside of the sunflower with some orange and mix them with a little bit of yellow. So it's really going to make that uh, head looks like it's seeped in. All right, so let's get started. Here we go. A little bit of orange mixed with some yellow. I'm just loading the tip of my brush. I'm going to come in here. And I'm just going to pull back and flick some of this orange into my leaves. I'm just flicking it right in. Very lightly touching the canvas. Very light. You barely want to touch it. You just want it to... Just roll smoothly off of your surface. And just pull it up into the leaf. And already you'll start to see 
your leaves getting some depth just by adding this little bit of orange down by the base of the head of the flower there. I'm just lightly putting my brush on the canvas and I'm flicking into the to the leaf. Just flicking into the leaf. Come back in and now I'm just lightly dabbing the orange around the brown. Now with the same brush, I'm gonna come in and start to touch up my sunflower here, make the leaves a little bit more solid. Um, I'm gonna go back to my yellow. Okay. Put a little tip of white on my brush. Just a little tip, just a little bit on the tip. And I'm gonna come in on my leaves and now I'm gonna go down to my base. Make these leaves a little bit more brighter and solid. I'm stroking down to my base now, to the head of the flower. Okay. We want to really make this sunflower really bright here. So I'm coming in with more yellow. And stroking down, making the sunflower brighter. That's all I'm doing. Because now you should have a nice dry surface. You can even let your paint stay a little thick so you can put some texture on that leaf with the yellow. Just continuously going back into the leaf. I'm starting from the outside, working my way in. You should start to see this thing get really bright. So again, I'm leaving my my yellow pretty thick on my on my brush. So I'm actually giving the the canvas a texture on these leaves here. So when this dries, you'll be able to feel the movement in these leaves.
a little bit of that red. Um, it, if you have like a it, crimson this, red and a scarlet red. What would I mix it with this? Uh, no. That, what's that yellow? Here, this is yellow I used. That's the one you used? I thought that's how you used the deep candle. Yes. Okay. Yep, yep. And that's, that's what this is. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll mix it with deep candle. Okay. Yes, for those who that are on Zoom, if you ever could take, get a chance to come down live in person, it's very well worth it because I can actually come around to you in person and uh, help you out with your progress there. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with my sunflower right now. So I'm going to let him dry and we're going to start to lay tulips now. So I'm going to start with my fan brush. If you don't have a fan brush, that's okay. You could use a one inch flat brush like so um, as well. Just make sure it's really moist and you really get those bristles nice and damp. Because um, you want your, your brush to hold as much paint as you can when you're loading it. Uh, it just helps the, the application of the, the pigment of the paint going on your brush a little better when you, when you have a more, nice moist brush. But I'm gonna be using a fan brush in this case. So I got my rose color and my violet down already. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one corner of my brush, I'm gonna put white on that one corner So I'm going to hold my brush flat and I'm going to come in and I'm going to put my brush flat against the canvas here, nice and tight, really firm. And I'm just going to come down and swivel like so. And you'll see that it'll make like a gradient. A natural gradient. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the same brush and I'm going to come right next to it and do the same thing here. Oh, that's nice. See that? I just yeah. kept, kept my brush flat. <laughs> Again, I'll do it one more time. I put white on the edge, and then I put a little violet on the other side, mixed in with some rose. I kind of just, let me put my, there we go. So I got my white on the one tip, and then I'm dipping my brush, the other side of my brush, in the rose and the violet. And then I'm just going to come really tight, really firm on my canvas, and I'm just gonna wiggle it and come down a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna wiggle it, set it, wiggle it, and come down. Same thing next to it. I'm gonna do this about four times. I keep losing my train of thought. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing, taking a little bit of white, on the tip of the brush, 
And the rest is violet and rose. Doing it right on the leaves, right? Right on the leaves, yeah. It'll make you a natural gradient. I'm just going to come down again. Okay. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to take that violet and now I'm going to mix a little bit of white into it on my canvas, I mean on my uh, palette and I'm going to make a really light violet right here and I'm going to put a leaf in the front and I'm just gonna go right over this paint I just laid down hold my brush to the side a little bit and then come all the way down go on the other side come all the way down Now I'm going to take that same color I just mixed. I'm going to go to the edge and just highlight like that on the outside. Now we got a tulip pop. Okay. That's pretty. All right, so let's let's try to put some more tulips in here, and we're gonna do that same process. We're gonna take the rose, one side of the load, one side of the fan brush, and just a little bit of white on the tip on the opposite side. You can hold it at an angle, nice and firm on your canvas, and just come on down, wiggle it on down. Gonna do the same thing right next to it and just come all the way down okay now again now I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten that same color I just used with some white I'm gonna brighten this this side of the tulip up. Setting it down on my canvas and I'm coming all the way down and up. Brush on canvas, come down, swirl it up. I'm gonna make one more leaf there. So take my fan brush. It's like on an angle on the tip. I'm gonna come down. And push it right into that other leaf. That's all right. I'll oh, make some colors more than I have anything else. <laughs> I didn't get the design right. <laughs> I didn't get the design right. I, I couldn't say it. You come down. I went up. Got gotcha. you. I went up. Oh, yeah. I, could yeah, probably, so, I could probably fix it. Um, wash the brush out really good and try to get it flat and wide. And then what you want to do is you want to turn it like that. So you kind of see that, that triangle it's making. You want your white to be up top and then you strip it down. Like this one? 
Okay. Yeah, so you wanna you wanna hold the brush like that. And then bring it down. And then bring it down. Yep. Like that? Yep. Both sides? Both sides. Um see how so let me see what I have. I had a better one. You got a better one where they're not I thought I did. Real. That one might give you a. Uh, yeah. All right. Give this one. Give this one a shot. Okay. So it does. It can get a little tricky on the stroke down. So I'm gonna do that real slow on the camera just so you guys can get the grasp of the stroke down. So again, I'm putting white on the tip and then I'm loading the other side with my violet and my rose, okay? Now when you're stroking down, you wanna hold it on an angle like this. So you want the top you want your white to be at the top when you're stroking down into that flower leaf. I'll do one more. I'll do uh, let's do let's do one over here, right under this guy. So I'm gonna take my brush, put it against this canvas really firm, and I'm just gonna come down and curve. Okay. Same sequence for the other leaves. I got my white at the top and I'm just coming down really firm. Now the other side is a little darker, so I'm going to darken it and put some more violet in it into the, to the, to the, uh, rose and I'm going to do the same thing on this side firmly on the canvas and I'm just going to come straight down and curve in okay so you have your base of your tulip now so now we can come in here with the with the detail brush smaller brush or you can use the same brush just be very careful I'm not using the fan brush anymore this is a detail brush it's a small it's <laughs> thinner than uh, my, my petals here on my flower so I'm going to use this brush to really define our highlights and indicate our rose our, our petals here excuse me coming in and adding a little rose just to make this a little brighter. Certain areas. Tulips, tulips kind of overlap. <clears throat> so you want to let those dark and light spots be indications for you to show those individual leaves of the tulip. I'm just going over what I have with a little, with a little uh, rose, rose color. And 
it's really adding some some value into this to these leaves here. Okay. Okay, now we got some uh -huh. tulips. Now I'm going to add stems to these guys here. Yeah, mine don't have any stems on yep. there. Mine That's fine. <laughs> I think one of mine might look like a third I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to pick a stem out. No, that's all right. <laughs> stem was the, the easiest part. I gotta go home and clean out my box, put in my butter paints in, and I gotta put colors. So we're gonna add a little green to get these stems done. And I'm just gonna put a hint of burnt umber kind of mix it in my brush with this green here. And I'm gonna come under my tulip here and I'm just gonna create a little stem. If you wanna add a little yellow to it, give it a highlight. Tulip has a stem now. And I'll put one over here on our top one. Put another one here. Now I just put loaded a nice thin detailed brush with green and firmly just stroke down under the tulip. So now I'm going to take a little brown and some of this dark violet and get a nice mix. And I'm going to come up here in my sunflower because this is dry for me right now. And I'm just going to put some dark highlights right around the center of the flower just to give it more depth and shadow. on the sunflower in the middle. So right now I got, I have violet loaded into my brush, dark deep violet mixed with a little bit of brown and I'm just coming in here and I'm pressing I'm 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 gently patting this color on my sunflower
So it just gave it some depth, some shadow in there. Maybe highlight some of these leaves down here. Okay. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some more tulips, but I want to change it up from this violet colors here. So I'm gonna add some. Let's see. I'm gonna put use some cobalt blue. I'm gonna mix this cobalt blue with some of the rose. Use a fan brush because I'm and another tulip here. Would you mix the blue with? Uh the rose. I can't remember what I made it <laughs> Um or you could mix um you can mix the blue with, if you have a, a white and a violet, you can tone that, that violet down just to create a, a different a different type of uh, color hue. So same thing, I got white on my, I have white on my tip of my brush <clears throat> and I have my new color here with the blue with the bluish violet, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to come down, put it on my canvas, and then I'm just going to come straight down and curve it up. Now, I'm going to make this one a little smaller tulip, so I'm not going to go down as far, but still, the same method. Load my brush again with my violet, my blue violet. Put white at the tip. Starting up firmly on your canvas and then come straight on down. Same process for the next leaf. Straight on down. Now I go back in with my detail brush. I'll do the same thing. I define these leaves better. Go back into my color, load my brush. And I'm just going to find this leaf and go right over it. baby tulip coming in right here. So again, we're doing flowers, but it's the same concept. Um, for, for time reasons, you can always come back and add more flowers in, you know, make, a, make your own type of bouquet. You can add flowers in on the top. Um, and really give this thing some color. But this is basically how you start it. Um, you want to just keep on putting layers over layers, leaf over leaf, till you get achieve the amount of flowers that you 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 like comfortably looking at. All 
Now I'm gonna add a couple more down here. Um, and then that's going to be it for this painting. I'm just keeping my brush flat and I'm stroking down right into the, to the leaf. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the green, give it a stem. In the black background, this is good for these kind of flower paintings because it really makes your color uh, really pop when it's done. So I'm gonna put a couple more down in here. So go again back to the fan brush. And I'm going to begin to load that same color of blue violet. And my white at the tip. And I'm going to come here. Same thing. I just came straight down with the brush. White at the top. Color down the bottom and just come straight on down. Again, right at the top, color at the bottom. Nice firm on your canvas and straight on down. And then we come in. And we clean up our negative areas inside there. And we got another little tulip right there. And let your brush flow. Don't get stuck on trying to make the perfect uh, blend of color, just put a little different variations of color on your brush, put it firm and just let it come down. And you'll get all these fun little gradients that are happening that will help you create natural texture and, and depth on your, on your flower. I can definitely tell the amateur did this. What's that? You can definitely tell an amateur did this. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm mixing colors. Yeah, I, was all right. to, I was afraid to mix colors before. Oh, yeah, that's mixing is the best. You got to be a mad scientist. Yeah. You, <laughs> don't be afraid to be a mad scientist. Mixing is great. You uh, can mix it right on your canvas. <laughs> Mine look like Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just coming in. I'm, I'm taking my violin. I'm just, I'm literally just playing around, grabbing the, all the colors that I've mixed to make different blends on my leaf here. It's coming out really nice. Okay. 
like it. Add a little stem there. Give this guy a stem. Okay. And we started this stem up here with this guy, but I'm going to bring it down behind. We forgot, we forgot to give him the rest of his stem there. There. That's pretty. Very okay. green, very bright. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's all in the highlight. If you if you want it more bright, you just let it dry and then you can come back to it with some white highlights. White and yellow to add in certain spots. You can make it as bright or as dark as you want. So hopefully next week, um, if you guys, hopefully we will see you return and we will be starting uh, another landscape next week. We're going to be doing, working with uh, the color wheel more effectively using a uh, warm and cool colors. So we had a, uh, early in the episode, uh, we had a hello from Susan Kershaw, who's been on uh, for several weeks. Ann Watson is just checking out, but she said, thank you, Aaron. I must go, but I like making the tulips. Mine didn't turn out like yours, but do look a little like tulips. I will work on it. Mm -hmm. um, should we let people know uh, what kind of canvas to prepare for next week? Uh, next week, just regular canvas. If you want to gesso uh, beforehand, save some time, that would be awesome. Uh, if not, that's quite all right. But uh, definitely try to just show a canvas for next week, and we're gonna get, like I said, started on uh, that land, that next landscape piece for our final two weeks um, of this session. Um, and I, I thank you guys for tuning in and participating. It's been so much fun. I love this stuff. Um, good to see everybody back. Um, hope to see everybody next week. Um, but we're gonna just finish up some details here and. Uh, if you guys have any questions, also you want to put in the comments um, about any materials or uh, painting projects, uh, just let me know, please. Give, we love you. Hear your feedback. Okay. Made out good today, Arthur? Yeah. Well, <laughs> flowers are hard. <laughs> yeah. They can I'll get the hang tricky. of it. <laughs> <laughs>